Alright, got a bunch of new things from Bass Pro Shops, and I got a new rod and reel, uh, and a lot of new uh, lures and worms and plastics, so I thought I'd show you them. The first, the rod and reel I got, they are the uh, Shimano Sahara, that was $80, uh, it looks pretty awesome, looks okay. I didn't have too much money, I did want to get the uh, Symmetry but I couldn't. So, uh, and the rod I have on here is a Berkley Lightning Shock Rod. Uh, it was $50. I got it as, like, not a long-term thing, but until I get more money. I don't know, I might, I might use it as my main rod if I find out it's good. You know if it works right. I, I took a few casts worth it with it uh, the other day, and I have on it is a Gary Yamamoto um, creature, four inch creature. This looks pretty cool. You, know, I, you can basically fish fish this like anywhere. It could imitate a crayfish, or uh, you know it, use it uh, weightless and just let it flutter and drift. It looks pretty awesome. You know, it's got the little skirt and the tentacly thingies. So uh, I'll get—I'll let you know how that works, and now I'll go on to my new lure. All right, so I got uh, the part for the uh, uh, lures. I got um, a copper's live target crawfish. It dies to three to five feet. Uh, this look, this thing looks really good. I've heard a. Uh, good reviews about it so I thought I'd pick one up. It's cost $12. Let's see if I can just get it out of the case and show you. Here it is. This thing looks pretty awesome. It's got the little like 3D eyes and everything. Just you can see how like this would imitate a crayfish just like cranking it along. Uh, it's got some rattles in there cranking it along like rocky bottoms and stuff or wherever crayfish live so I hope to get a lot of bass out of that this summer the next thing I got is a yum dancing tadpole this looks pretty awesome it's a uh, Rayburn red don't know how long it is it doesn't say this looks pretty cool also it's, it combines the uh, like the plastic worm th look with the uh, crankbait lip which you know, it's pretty cool. So, yeah, I expect a lot of that to, out of that too. Then the last lure I have is a Extreme Performance Series crankbait. It's a tri vibe crankbait. You know, the thing with the uh, little little three the three holes for, uh, for different depths and everything like that. That looks pretty cool too. It's got the got beads inside of it nice red hook so I expect to use this a lot too and then for the uh, plastics I've got the extreme performance series like twin tailed and skirted thing I forget what they're called doesn't it does not say you know, like the chompers thing this is like that it's in a milky salt color I have black ones so they work really well so I thought something new and different might work you, know, you can put this on like a jig uh, as a trailer or uh, you can fish them just like by yourself I I've done that before this looks pretty good I'm gonna use this up in Vermont it, this, this works really well and then the next thing I have is a uh, Powerbait 12 inch plum worm. It's like plum colored with blue flecks in it. Take one out here for you. It's monstrosity here. This thing's pretty big. This is like, you can only buy these in Bass Pro Shops, I think. Uh, I don't know, but that's what it said online. So I, I, I know where a bunch of, a couple really big bass are, so I think I'm gonna, you know, like, target them with this big worm. 
maybe I'll pick it up. So that's what I have in plan. You know, and, and you know, other use too. Just not just for that. And then I have the uh, like I said on my rod, the Gary Yamamoto Moto creature. It you know it it just it, this thing looks so awesome. Like it's got the little skirt down here with the little flapping thingies, and the two little arm things. It just looks like I could just see so many bass just picking this up and killing it. So I got some of those. And I got a Bass Pro Shops t-shirt, but I don't know where that is. So, those are my lures and rod and reel. So, tell me if, you know, if you have any of these things and if they're good. You know, like the rod, tell me if you've used that before, or the reel. That would, I'd highly appreciate that. So, uh, thanks for watching.